The spotlight on Kenyan banks heightened on Thursday this week after the central bank placed Chase Bank under receivership citing liquidity problems. The decision sent shockwaves across the banking sector, leading to panic and confusion as hundreds of customers engaged in a futile attempt to withdraw their money. Day two today and the situation is not any different at the bank's headquarters in Nairobi's Westlands area. Now several Chase Bank customers have been visiting the bank's headquarters here to know the fate of their deposits. However, the tight security here ensured that there is no access beyond this point. All customers who wanted to drive into the bank were turned away by security guards. Customers walking in could only go as far as this notice, pinned by the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, which reminded them of the bank's receivership status. The closure did not spare any of the bank's units, as it also affected its Islamic finance branch. At the bank subsidiary Rafiki Microfinance, operations continued as normal, but long queues could be seen as customers sought answers on their deposits. But even as uncertainty continues to linger, the central bank governor is optimistic that Chase Bank will resume operations, but he had to issue a disclaimer. When this institution reopens, it better stay open. We are not reopening it for just to say we reopened a bank and then shutting it a few minutes later or a few hours later or a few days later. So. For now though, all depositors will have to endure the long and painful wait as all the 62 branches of the bank remain closed. Denis Otieno, Citizen Weekend.